we are attempting to figure out what our total profit or loss is on the purchase of the stock here in rentbooks.com. All right, so basically we have to decompose this problem and to determine what that profit is going to be. Now, we look at this is that, all right, we have 259 shares, okay? So we need to break out the things we need. So we need profit, profit and loss. So we know that it's going to be 259 shares multiplied by the per share profit loss, okay? So what we have to know is if the stock price went up, it went down, or whatever, okay? So we did purchase, our initial purchase price was 113.29, and their earnings report came out, so we then revised our expectations about what the stock is going to do, okay? Um, so we know their most recent dividend, D0, was four dollars and one cent uh they and these this new information we have is that we think it's going to grow at 19 percent and we have this expectation that our return here is going to be 23 percent so these things have changed there hasn't been enough time there to compute yields or compute any any differences here but um we want to to figure out what what the value of this stock is right now okay so we are going to use our uh, Gordon growth model, right? D1 divided by R minus G. And we're given all the information that we need. Um, remember, we can transform this by using D0. And the part we put in here, so we have the 401. And remember, if we are given D0, if we're given D1, it's going to be saying if it just happened, if it happens today, you know, that's today right d0 zero. zero is the right now time period okay if it's taken in one that's in one year one day one month whatever it is however we define it um, dividends are going to be basically we're going to be assuming yearly dividends but they can be coming quarterly semi-annual etc um, so this is then going to be divided by our minus g and we do have to make sure that we do take that growth rate off here, which is going to be 1.19, which means that we now have a price of $119.20 okay, 11930. Now one important thing to note, if you leave this part out here, if you leave that growth rate out, uh, you could actually end up with a substantial difference, right? So this one's showing us that the price actually went up. Um, but if we didn't put that growth rate in on this part right here at the 1.19, then we would actually have seen that we would have lost money on the stock. Uh, that can make a big, big, big difference if you are an investor. And if you're investing your client's money, you know they're not gonna be happy with you either. Okay, so um, we are going to put this in here is that we now have the uh, 119.30, minus the 113.29 to tell us our what our profit is off of each share so we're gonna have six dollars and a 601 and that's going to tell us that our total profit is going to be equal to one thousand five hundred fifty six dollars and fifty nine cents okay um hope that works out for you